What up, Sim Racers? Larry TJR Sim here, and today we're going to be looking at race room racing experience. Close that out. Race room racing experience here. As you can see on the page, we're going to be using the Oculus Rift S, and I'm going to give you the settings that I uh, that I'm enjoying right now. So, uh, as far as hardware goes, I am using a RTX 2080 Ti, and I have a i7. I don't even remember the specs, but check out the specs in the description below. But it's 4.1 gigahertz is what I'm running that one overclocked. The GPU is uh, overclocked from the factory at 18, 15 megahertz, so it's actually a pretty, pretty baller uh, GPU. Although race room is pretty dang taxing, uh, it's still even with the 2080 Ti. So there are some things that you can't. Uh, get around uh, even when you have a computer that can run NASA. Uh, somehow you can't run race room to its optimal because it's just not optimized enough. So, but anyway, and, and uh, let me just give you what I found that seems to work the best for my scenario. Uh, see, race room, if you go over here, as you can see on the screen, uh, go to your properties right there and set launch options. I have negative VR space 2.5. I'm looking for my little uh, magnifier thing in Badoodle. And I don't see it, so I don't want to waste time looking. Is that it right there? There it is. All right, there we go. Sorry. So uh, negative VR space 2.5. That is putting your super sample in at two and a half times. Uh, if you didn't put anything there, if you just left this blank, uh, it's going to default at one and a half is my understanding, 1.5 times super sampling. And that actually looks really good uh, on screen, but I was just seeing how far I can push it. It seemed, I didn't try 3.0, it just seemed like it would, uh, well, I'm sorry, I did try 3.0 and I didn't really see anything looking better. Uh, so 2.5 seemed to be the... You know, point of no return, really don't need to go higher than that. So, that's what I'm sticking with. That's my story, and I'm sticking with it. So, let's jump into the game here, and I will give you the settings, and I will be showing you the motion. Of course, I am using Next Level Racing V3 motion rig. Uh, I am sporting my, right now for this one right here, is my Fnatic McLaren GT3 rim. And, of course, it's got some... Uh, you know, the BNG hub on it. This is from uh, SRM Conversion. Uh, really love this rim. Uh, Fanatic did a great job with it. Uh, it's a little plasticky, but other than that, it's actually really fun to ride, uh, ride with. I want to go get another motorcycle. Drive with. So, snap that on there. And let's launch her. Where's it at? There we go. MBR 64 bit. Bear with me as it loads up. And we are using our, of course, our AccuForce V3. I'm going to change the camera down to where you can see the wheel and the motion at the same time. Hopefully centered in there oh and if you want to know I am using the Sennheiser uh, 598s all right here's my settings right here on screen video settings I am going to custom and I actually tried out all these as low, medium, high. I tried these out as well. But uh, custom is, is going to be your sweet spot to enable the optimal settings for you. So, again, 2080 Ti settings. Um, toggle mirrors on. That just doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll leave the exterior mirror or the fake mirror at the top of the screen off. As in VR, it's tiny. Uh, track level detail on high, uh, it has a lot of immersion to your experience when you're out on track. Medium is, the is uh, I mean, obviously you can go to low, and low you pretty much don't have any people on the track, no flag waving, any of that. Once you go to medium, it adds pretty much 
Uh, it seems like, you know, 95% of the stuff in there. Uh, hi, add some more detail in there. I didn't really spend a lot of time depicting where it added it more in there, but I'm just more interested in that I could max it out. Far length of the uh, distance setting on low doesn't really seem to matter uh, visually in VR. Uh, particle detail, I have that on high. Tire marks on, specular on, car reflection quality on medium. You don't really want to go high. Uh, just think of your cars when you're out on the track there. It is uh, reflecting all the images off of the environment onto the car and it's pretty taxing uh, on your GPU so or your CPU and uh, medium is about as high as you'd want to go you can go to I would not go to high uh, you will still see 80 FPS at, at a lot of times however you're gonna get a lot more uh, frame drops into the 40 FPS range uh, when you're on high so I actually like low. I think low looks just as fine, and you can pretty much keep everything locked in uh, at 80 FPS on low. However, you know, seeing what we can maximize the most, I bumped it up to medium, and that's what I'm running. It still looks great. Track animations on, shadows off. Yes, shadows off. I've tried this on. I've tried it on lowest. You know, low doesn't matter. It just shadows are still broken in race room. For VR, that is. Um, once you click them on, you are locked in at 40 FPS. It didn't matter if you have a super sampling at 1.0. It's still, uh, it really jacks with your FPS. So, uh, to make things look a little bit more shady, uh, you want to go ahead and turn your car shadows on uh, when you have these shadows off. And that way you still get some shadowing underneath it. And then when you bump up your contact shadows to 32 or, or, or somewhere above one, rather, uh, one, it tends to have more of a reflective surface. And then, you know, once you get up to 32, it's pulling in the contact shadows from the environment around you and shading the track uh, more appropriately. Although you do not get the little shadows going across the track like you would when you actually turn on shadows. So, uh, but keep in mind, it does. Uh, add a little bit more depth to your picture that way. So, uh, shadow split on, multi-sampling eight times, FXAA off, bloom off, depth of field off, motion blur off. Uh, bloom doesn't matter if you turn it on or off, it's gonna default back off. Uh, I guess bloom doesn't really work in VR, uh, which is what I pretty much reported a long time ago for Oculus settings and Samsung Odyssey settings. So, um, Motion blur, of course, you don't need that. Light shafts, that'll default back to off. Lens effect, have it on. Uh, can have it off, it doesn't matter. Don't really need it. I think this is really mainly just in replays because uh, it has no effect on track uh, for you. So, text tractor, uh, tractor, text, track texture quality is on high. Car texture quality on high. Rear view mirror quality on high. Medium looks just almost the same to me. Actually, I can't really tell the difference between medium and high myself. Uh, low, of course, does look uh, more uh, more like, uh, I don't know, Legos behind you. Um, so medium is as low as I would. Well, I mean, if you needed to go low, of course, you know, to increase your FPS. But if you can uh, sacrifice something else, I'll say I would sacrifice your... Um, let me see your, where's it at? The, not particle detail, but the car reflection. I would sacrifice the car reflection down on low, uh, just to enable yourself to bump up your mirror quality to medium. And it's about the same trade off, really. Uh, so if you had to sacrifice one or the other, that's what I would do. That way you have a, a nice clearer picture of the cars around you. It gives you a little bit more ambiance, uh, when you're out on track. So things look a little bit, uh, more lively. You know, it's not so you're looking straight ahead and it looks nice and clear. And then you look in your mirror and it looks like you're in, in uh, Roblox or something, you know. So, <laughs> but but uh, anyway, so yeah, medium shader quality on high. Uh, that does add a little bit more depth to your to your color palette out on the track. Uh, corner markers off. I didn't really notice the difference on or off anyway. Visible cars 12. Component cock picks off and then apply. So uh, visible cars, I've tried bumping it up even higher. Uh, 15 is pretty much the max you want to go, uh, but you will drop into the asynchronous mode, 
uh, fairly often enough, uh, I think. So 12 seemed to be the sweet spot like it used to be a long time ago. So let's do that. Single player. I have motion going on here as well. And I will turn off. My uh, butt kickers there because that will drown out the sound quite a bit. All right, it's rock and roll, baby. Man, this game is actually so much fun. I actually enjoy the F1 stuff. Now, uh, you should have a track. Well, it went away now. A while ago, uh, Steam has a tracker that would load for me correctly and it would load in the bottom left of the screen however i do see that it is gone uh, so steam is not very uh, uh consistent with that kind of thing unfortunately yeah i don't see it so you'll have to believe me what i see what i'm running is i'm running the uh, oculus tool tray and i will i guess i'll tell you when i see it drop uh below or at 40. So you'll know. So I'm in the 80s right now. Everything looks really good. Nice uh, visuals of speed. Woo! Oh, goodness. Cold tires. Oh, man. You got to love the AccuForce V2. It is so uh, responsive. Still in the 80s. I have not dropped out of the 80s yet. Car reflections behind me look really dang good uh, for an old engine like this. Man, when you add the AccuForce V2 with the uh, Next Level Racing V3 motion rig, it is just money, man. It is so freaking awesome. With the AccuForce, I'm getting a lot of uh, tire scrub feel. Uh, Tire roll, really rubbered in filling out on track. Still in the 80 FPS range. Get nice smoke on uh, dirt kicking up on the track from those guys ahead of me. And I will apologize if. Oh, that dude hit me. That was so awesome, though. You know, in 2D racing. <laughs> Someone hits you, you're like, ah, oh, crap. When you got motion in VR and someone hits you, you're like, well, that sucks, but that was really awesome. <laughs> F1 type racing in race room is really good. I mean, I get why you'd want to run, say, F1 2019 or 2018 and stuff, but I find myself never even playing those games because... They're not really simulation, they're arcades. So, yep, again, still locked in at 80 FPS. I have an overhead of around 30% performance headroom uh, on the Oculus tool tray. So just to give you some ideas of what's going on. Oh, no. It's okay to give a chance for other cars to go on track. Oh, and it, also as a note, I got 20, gosh darn it, 20 cars on track. So you can pretty much, let me go back and look behind you. So you can pretty much be surrounded by cars when you're out here doing all this testing. Even if you have an off-track excursion like I just did. No traction control, of course. And I do know the video looks a lot better if I don't have motion going on. However, I am videoing myself in motion, and a lot of y'all guys actually like that when I'd ask questions hey what do you enjoy to watch so this is what we got but if y'all don't enjoy that anymore and you just want to see the videos being smoother looking without seeing the motion rig going just, you know comment below and make some of those too of course You can feel the bumps in the track with the motion. <laughs> I 
Now, if I have the butt kickers on, uh, actually right now, using the Next Level Racing uh, sound card settings for them, when I come out of these corners and overpower it, you can just feel that um, the tire is actually vibrating or, or chirping out. Braking traction, rather. Pretty cool. Yeah, everything looks really good in the uh, Rift S here. Yeah, I'm just trying to kind of cover every all aspect. Oh man, that feels so freaking good. With the AccuForce. Um, <laughs> just giving you aspects of what I'm filling out on track. And a combination of the Rift S, the AccuForce, and uh, using the Fanatic McLaren rim is amazing. And then obviously the V3 Motion. Uh, it's just a really cool combination. Now, on track, as far as the saturation goes, what I'm seeing in this Oculus Rift S is it looks really beautiful. Uh, I have actually an IPD at 67, so this thing works pretty dang good for me. It's not perfect. Uh, it, it could be. I do notice when I look at the Odyssey, where I have a manual IPD, I can get that a little bit more precise with my eyesight than I can with this one. Uh, but it doesn't really affect me, especially when I put on my glasses and wear my glasses with this. Uh, I have no issues then. It seems like my glasses kind of correct any uh, bad imaging that I was would get or blurriness that would have got. Not really blurriness, just a slight distortion being that the IPD is slightly out or not optimal in my range. That makes sense to you. Woo! This is a little bit of a workout here. What place am I in? Tenth. I have these on Adaptive AI, and uh, they do pretty good, but it takes quite a few races for them to actually figure out that you're you're better than they are. <laughs> Uh, so normally I will it would, uh, run a, just a higher setting, but for this I kind of like to use an adaptive during this testing because it gives me a chance to catch up to people easily uh, so I can see if there's any um, distortion in their cars when I look at them or shimmering when they go by, and which I have none uh, with this Rift S. Actually, the color palette is just amazing with this Rift S. These three pixels per one subpixel, or three subpixels per one pixel, rather, uh, really makes up the difference, man. It's. I was using the Odyssey the other day as well, and uh, yes, it looked, it looked great actually, the Odyssey, but uh, it just didn't have that depth that the Rift S has, as far as the colors go. It's just not as rich. Uh, of course, nights look better. And you will notice I am using the sunset setting right now in race room. And the reason I'm using that setting uh, is because it's the more harsh setting to use in race room for testing. Uh, sun, sun, I guess, uh, noon setting uh, is pretty easy on the GPU with VR. Uh, but sunset team seems to take a little bit more of a toll. I know this because I tried to do all my testing on noon and it, everything was looking awesome. <laughs> I went to sunset and uh, frame rates started dropping. So, testing for the worst case scenarios for you guys. I got drove way off track. But yeah, when you're up next to the car, you see a little bit of pop in on some of the graphics of the car in front of you. Uh, this is like a little bit black spot in between the fin where it comes to the back transmission casing. There you'll see it kind of go black sometimes. There it goes black right now. And that's just from the contact shadows, I believe. As you get closer, then it goes away. <laughs> And for y'all those interesting, interested in it, I have the uh, 
the settings up on the screen as far as force feedback settings and stuff. It doesn't actually tell you how much it's putting out, but it does tell you, show you when it spikes above the red line. So you can compare it to what you're seeing my wheel do and see if I was having some clipping issues. To me, I generally like to have just a tad clips here and there when you need to. Um, just to keep the realism up higher on the lower settings, on the non-clipping uh, scenarios, rather. Man, coming in some traffic here. This is a good test for the GPU and VR. Still locked in at 80 FPS. Got a headroom of, it's going from 19 to 24 right there. 75 FPS back up to 80. It did dip just a tad. But like I said, if I haven't mentioned the FPS, we are still locked in at 80 when I don't mention it. Whoa, goodness. <laughs> nice plume of smoke back there, and these tires are toast. They're not toast, they're just dirty. Sometimes you got to shift up to second to get these babies cleaned off before you start getting into it. All part of racing right there. And I have all the fans off in the room so I can try to keep the ambient noises down for the sound. Hopefully that's helping because it is hot. This is Texas summer right now. Man, it's nice to see that, that there's just plumes of uh, dirt on the track just staying there like they would in real life. Pretty cool. You know, for an old engine, though, this is pretty good. Uh, they really do need to update it, I think, but uh, their physics in this game are, are really nice. So I can kind of live with a little bit of outdated coloring and, 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 and uh, graphics engine. But considering that we pay so much for this, it's not as expensive as I racing, of course, but you do buy a lot of stuff on here. It right, looks like we're at the end of the checkered flag. Oh, there's a summer sale going on right now, too. If you're watching this video right now in the summer 2019. All right, that is it. Hope you enjoyed it. Am <laughs> I? And my, uh, there we go. Motion's still going. All right. That is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this look. We are setting the Rift S. And my glasses are all fogged up. We will check you next time. Uh, leave some comments below. And uh, until next time, I'm out.